Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Vera 8100 SA2 Zyklop quarter inch drive 42 piece socket set. I've previously done a video on the 8100 SA7 which is a Zyklop quarter inch drive 28 piece metric socket set and a soft case. The primary differences between the two other than the accessory count is the metal case and the speed ratchet. I got this set on significant clearance because the box was damaged and this is actually an older version of this model. The only difference I can see with the latest version is that it has color-coded sockets for easier identification. Vera calls this color coding their take it easy system. Obviously someone at Vera is a big fan of the Eagles. So let's unbox this thing. It is nice that a tool set like this still comes in a steel case, as it seems more and more companies are going with an all plastic solution. There are pros and cons of both types, but I prefer to have steel cases for durability reasons since they often get knocked around. As you can see, the case has four rubber bumpers on both the top and the bottom. Interesting design choice to also use the same rubber bumper material for the latches. Hopefully these will hold up over time. This unit definitely has a little bit of weight to it. I measured it at exactly 1.3 kilograms or about 2.89 pounds. The MSRP on this unit is definitely not cheap, coming in currently at $360. So let's crack this thing open. As you can see, all the components are very well secured in the hard foam. I really like the two level design as it gives the layout some depth. With all the driver extensions and the adapters on the top level, and the sockets and bits on the lower level. Vera has also etched the layout and most of the part numbers onto the foam in the upper lid. And it looks like the entire foam bottom lifts right out of the case. I'm surprised that it wasn't glued down. The foam insert on the lid with the part locations is adhered with double-sided tape. This is quite surprising as double-sided tape is normally the worst kind of adhesive you can use for most types of foam. I would guess the reason for using the tape is probably due to environmental concerns with using a solvent-based adhesive. At work, the material we use for foam to metal connection is 3M90 spray adhesive. After you use this, the only way to remove the foam is to destroy it. It looks like one of the designers at Vera definitely has a sense of humor, making a robot looking face with the supports for the rubber bumpers. So now let's take a look at the components of this set. The most obvious difference between the 8100 SA2 and the 8100 SA7 is the speed ratchet that is included as opposed to the all metal ratchet. The Zyklop speed ratchet model included is the 8000A. The claim to fame of this type of ratchet is the ability to rotate the head into three different positions. At zero degrees, it acts as a normal screwdriver. At plus or minus 90 degrees, it acts as a normal ratchet. There's a third position at 105 degrees where it can act as an offset ratchet for limited axis fasteners. Changing the positions is done using the lever on the handle. The bits are held into the drive with the locking ball bearing design. To install or release the bits, the button on the ratchet head must be pressed, which allows the ball bearing to enter a detent that gives clearance to install the socket. To change the direction of the socket, the green dial is rotated. There's also a plastic sleeve that freely spins while rotating the ratchet. And of course it has the familiar Vera craft form handle. The ratchet is made in the Czech Republic. This is quite a nice design that allows you to quickly go between a screwdriver and a ratchet. The one issue I see here is that in order to change the sockets when it is in the zero degree position, you need to rotate the head in order to access the button. Next we'll take a look at the sockets included. The sockets are from the 8790 HMA non-impact line and include the following metric sizes. 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. The differences here from the sockets included in the SA7 set are the inclusion of the 4, 4.5, 9, and 14 millimeter socket sizes. These sockets all have a knurled edge which is supposed to be for hand tightening applications. I really like the chrome satin finish on these as well as the laser etch markings. All of these sockets are made in Taiwan. Now let's take a look at the socket extensions and adapters. First we have the 8795 universal joint. This allows the socket to rotate with two degrees of freedom. It uses a standard spring ball bearing to hold the socket in place. Next we have the 8789 sliding T-handle. This 110 millimeter long T-handle has a captive drive that slides between two press fit ball bearings that acts as stops. This takes the function of a ratchet when using with a socket. A good use for this is in conjunction with the speed ratchet is bolts with nylon insert lock nuts installed. There are two 8796LA extensions that are included with the set. One is 150 millimeters while the other is 75 millimeters. The unique feature of these extensions is Vera's flexible lock system that prevents accidental dislodging of the attached drive. It is basically a toggle switch that locks the ball bearing in place. With the button depressed in the green position, the socket can be inserted or removed. With the button in the red position, the ball bearing is then locked and the socket cannot be removed or installed. This is a pretty cool feature that I have never seen previously. It is a really nice design that they were able to add this feature without increasing the diameter of the shaft, which may cause interference in certain situations. Both of the extensions have a freely rotating sleeve similar to the one used on the ratchet. Next we have the 8794A wobble extension. 
This is the same extension that was included with the 8107 set. The extension uses a special drive that allows the socket to pivot 15 degrees in any direction. This is useful for those hard to access bolts that are just a little bit off center. Also included is the 8784A1 quarter inch bit holder. This holder has a quick release mechanism that releases tension on four very small ball bearings in the quarter inch hex shaft by sliding the plastic sleeve towards the end. Now let's take a look at the bits included with the set. There are a total of 22 bits from the Vera Classic line of bits. From the 800 slash 1Z slotted line we have a 1.2 by 8 millimeter, a 1.0 by 5.5 millimeter, and a 0.6 by 4.5 millimeter. From the 855-1 posi drive line, we have a posi drive number 3, number 2, and number 1. From the 851-1 Phillips line, we have a Phillips number 3, number 2, and number 1. From the 840-1 external hex line, we have an 8mm, 6mm, 5mm, 4mm, and 3mm drives. Finally, from the 867-1Z line, we have the security Torx bits with sizes T40, T30, T25, T20, T15, T10, T9, and T8. The reason that security bits were selected is that you can use these in standard non-security Torx fasteners. So there you have it, that's the Vera 8100 SA2 set. The money in the set is definitely with the speed ratchet in the case, which is why these are significantly more than the soft case version that I reviewed previously. If you need a compact set to keep in your desk or on the bench, then this will be a good candidate. Well that wraps up the review of the Vera 8100 SA2 Zyklop quarter inch drive 42 piece socket set. Check out the link in the description to the full review, including additional high-resolution photos not shown here. If you like this video, subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.